What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today we'll be talking about agility versus speed. There's a lot of confusion on how they shared their functions, so in this one here, I'll break everything down. So let's get right into it. So now for the definitions, speed affects how fast the player can run or sprint around the court without the ball. And for agility, without the ball, affects how fast the player can accelerate, move in short bursts, and move laterally. It may look straightforward, but trust me, there's a lot into it. First, let's talk about off-ball sprints. In terms of just actual sprinting without the ball while holding turbo, speed takes care of it and agility has nothing to do with it. Without turbo though, agility can boost your launches. And now for the next one, in terms of lateral movements, if you just move laterally on a long distance, just one way, speed will have more impact. But the thing about it though is, the moment you do it back and forth, and if you change direction, agility has more impact. And here you can see, that's 25 and 99 agility, And this one here is your 25 and 99 speed. So basically, in terms of lateral movements, agility has more impact because for the most part, we only do lateral movements on short burst anyway. We don't do it this long. Now for the next one, I will just move my left stick around and let's see how agility can affect it. And here you can see I was just moving my left stick around and 99 is really stable, unlike with 25. I tried it with 25 and 99 speed and it didn't show much difference. Now for the next one, what about on rolling after setting a screen? Here's 25 and 99 agility, and there you can see, there's no difference. While with 25 and 99 speed, it's night and day. So before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to like the video if you're liking it so far. And I made a lot of good stuff already. You got this best shot profile, fastest motion styles, weight, strong handles, and lots of other stuff. So don't forget to drop by the channel after watching, and of course subscribe to tune in for upcoming ones. Now going back, what about for special off-ball movements? These are not your normal left stick movements. For this kind of launch, this one here activates Spot Finder Badge. It is boosted by your agility, not your speed. And by the way, if you want to know how to do it, here you go. Next one, what about those right stick movements? I tried this one, and same thing, agility is the only one that touches it, not speed. So basically, in terms of special off-ball movements, which I think Dexing is part of it, that's your agility. Now for the next one, what about for sweet spots? I tested both of them, and they are both linear, so meaning there's no saturation points. If you really want to double down on both of them, don't hold back on putting more. So now for the recommendation, what should you put on your build? I keep reading comments that agility is for small builds only, but for me personally, I think for both small and big builds, both of them are must-haves. And in terms of how much, just base it on the badges that you want to unlock. But I really recommend to put both of them on high, and they both go together. And here you can see, if I tweak the height, they both go high together and low together. Which means that if your build needs speed, your builds need agility as well. Unlike with other stats, that if one goes up, one goes down. Like for example, your perimeter and interior defense. Which means one of those is for a small build, and the other one is for bigger builds. And to know that perimeter defense doesn't touch your lateral movements anymore, and the only ones that affect it is your speed and mostly your agility, it shows you the importance of both of these stats. So that's all for this one. Again, would be really awesome if you guys can drop by the channel for lots of other stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.